defines experimental in the eye of a beholder. For example, prolotherapy is something I was trained with about 15 years ago by the man who started it. He started it in 1955. They still come in, patients, patients came in today, said this is experimental. I said it's experimental to the insurance company. It's not really experimental because all it is we're putting in sugar injection. There is no major study because there's no pharmaceuticals behind it to pay for the study. So really, I would say after 60 years of clinical use, it's really not experimental. That's how I de define it. Uh, when I use sub-Q stimulators, it's by insurance company defined as an experimental use. The stimulator has been developed in the 60s, and it's safer instead of putting it next to spinal cord under the skin. They define ex experimental so they don't have to pay it. The device is not experimental. My ability over the last 25 years has been taking what's already there, applying in a new way. Stellate is a classic example of it. If he has Blue Cross Blue Shield or an insurance company, they'll say it is an ex experimental procedure. The first time Stellate was done was 1925. It is not experimental. What's new about it is a new way of applying it for PTSD and half flashes. Is it an experimental procedure? No. Neurostimulator, is that experimental? Unknown. Uh, no. Pulse radio frequency, is that experimental? Unknown. Uh, However, it is a new application, a new understanding of biological process. But in order to get through the definition of experimental insurance company, that's a separate discussion.